Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series here on the Siri Pixel Biology channel and it has been a long time in coming because in our quest to play every animal and plant related game that's possibly out there, of course eventually we would work our way over to Animal Jam which is actually a game put out by National Geographic and I absolutely adore National Geographic. Fun fact, my mom wanted to grow up and become a photographer for them and I have a ton of the National Geographic books, the magazines and several of their books in my bookshelf right now for those of you who have been around on the channel for a very long time you know i used to do giveaways of the national geographic's kid magazine subscriptions so i'm wondering if maybe i'll do one of those during this animal jam playthrough or not but to celebrate the back to school special event for september we're going to be trying out a month of animal jam and we're going to see what all of the hubbubaloo is about because so many of you guys have told me that you absolutely adore this game you grew up on this game you can't wait to see me play this game i have literally no idea what kind of contents I'm going to find once we jump inside but let's go ahead and get started we're gonna apparently create an animal and I'm hoping I can choose a really cool animal and you get a den you get to play games and I have literally no idea what happens after that so we're just kind of gonna hop in and we're gonna try this out for the very very first time oh look at it <gasps> there's a panda Oh my gosh. Oh, and a giraffe. Are you kidding me? Oh, and there's a little bunny and a koala. Okay, a monkey, a penguin, hmm, a wolf, a tiger. Who would I be? I do love giraffes, actually, but I really love pandas. And I love the way pandas are always surrounded by jungles. And giraffes, clearly there's not as much greenery around a giraffe. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go with a panda, to be honest. But the koala is adorable, and I do love bunnies. And bunnies hop all over the place, and they get up to all sorts of nonsense. So, you know what? I think for now, I'm going to be a bunny. Because I know we get a den eventually. So, let's go ahead. Ooh, so we need to pick a name. Okay, Dr. Major Roo. <laughs> Can you hit randomize? Oh, that's so fun. I love it. Juniper Daring Raccoon. Oh, this is too funny. Infinity Loop Robot. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I love it. Scooter First Flower. Um, Precious Icy Lady. This is kind of hilarious. Large Major Leopard. Prince the Cheetah. Twinkle Goofy Bell. Awesome Canyon Beast. <laughs> Crouching Loud Monkey. Okay, Victory Rainy Otter. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna have to pick through some of these things. Victory Rainy Pet Panda. Let's see, Octopus Moon. Rainy Moon seems kind of cool. Uh, we're Saga Sparadon in the Star Stable Online stuff, Victory. Teensy Snowflake Sea, like Rosy Princess, Mythical Mr. Miss Rainy Moon. That's actually kind of cute. We're gonna go with Miss Rainy Moon because I think that's quite lovely. So we'll go with that. All right, there we are. <laughs> I have no idea what's gonna happen. Let's see, and I think I might turn her voice off. So we're gonna follow Peck around. Well, maybe I'll leave it on. It's got some cute little music. I'm so excited you're here, yay, yes I am. I'm totally new to this. Look at me, I'm a little bunny. Whoa. Wow, people can really, oh, look at that deer. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and I can customize my color. Ah! I'm so cute, I'm so cute. Oh my gosh. What, you guys, look at this. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, so you can do all sorts of different, different patterns. <gasps> Leaf patterns, you're kidding me. Oh my gosh, yes. And we're Misty Rainy Moon, aren't we? Or something like that. And I think we'll make our eyes maybe brown, like my real eyes. And then I could be really fierce. You can customize quite a bit. I'm pretty surprised. Uh, little tiny eyes. That's actually kind of cute. And then maybe, oh, that changes the color of my ear. Interesting. And then this changes the color of me overall. Can I make myself like a little bit? Oh, look at me. That's pretty adorable. Okay. So this will be us. All right. So the main idea behind Animal Jam is it was at least founded. I like it. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, you could use little emotes. <laughs> ice cream. I think ice cream. Whoa, free stuff. But yeah, the main idea behind Animal Jam is actually that you're supposed to learn a little bit about the natural world while you're doing this. So we're going to look into that. Cool. I guess gems are what we can use to buy stuff. 
All right, let's see. Get gems, okay. Lots of places to spend the gems. But yeah, that's at least what the game was founded with. I'm gonna let her be nice and quiet for a second. Oh no, she's gonna talk to me no matter what. I think you're already exploring your own. I sure am. All right, whoops, and I guess I skipped something. What would you like to do next? Go to your den, go on an adventure, play games. I'm gonna go to my den. All right. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna do the talking for her. So welcome to your den, your own place and gem to call home. Of course, no den is complete until it's decorated. Click on the edit button to edit to see your den items. So here I am. I don't remember my name. I think I'm like Misty or like Miss Rainy Moon. I think that's my name, which is kind of adorable. So I guess I'm a very special little bunny. And yeah, the main idea behind National Geographic's Kids Animal Jam, from what I understand, is that somewhere buried in here, oh, there's a little journey book? Interesting. For, welcome to your journey book. Find and collect all the facts for each page to earn a gift. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to learn different facts about the natural world as part of what you can do here. And I hear that it's kind of lapsed to be more like a social sort of thing. I'm kind of going to avoid the social aspect. We're on the hunt for awesome animal facts. That's what we are going to do, you guys. All right, so there's the outback. Here's my den. These are your den items. Click on the picture of an item to place in your den. All right. Ooh, there's a nice sturdy table. All right. You can move it like all over the place. Okay, I'm going to put the table over here. And you can rotate them. Nice. Got it. Wonderful. I don't want to put it away. But you can put it away if you need to. And doing great. Have it. Oh, she Peck has a gift for me. More gems. Yay. She threw more money at me. And then you can shop for new things. <gasps> a tree! A tree! Okay. I'm going to buy it. I'll get that tree. No problem, I've got a tree now. Wonderful, now you can, now you know how. You can decorate your den however you like. Take these gems and have a great time. Oh yay, more gems. All right, so you start off with quite a few gems and here's my tree. I can put my tree inside, yes. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, so I just put a tree down. Apparently the tree doesn't count as a plant. Oh, it does. <laughs> I was really confused. I was like, what? Why doesn't the tree count as a plant? But we can put this down. I have a nice blue rug. Look at me, you guys. I have already started to get this all put together. So I'm pretty pleased about this. And I guess we can jump around. So this is like my little den. You can jump into all sorts of clubs. Noted. You can see the JAMA journal. Giraffes for all jammers. Oh, are giraffes new? Oh, they're new! That's so cool! They're available, or they're available for all jammers now. Interesting. And can I change how, you can switch animals, you can make new animals. Can you change how, yeah, you can change how you look at like any time it looks then. All right, so what if I want to have like a little white? I think I want to keep with the white for actually. And moon, because I have the name moon, maybe I'll go for like the moon or the star pattern. Maybe, or swirlies. I kind of like the swirlies a lot. I kind of really like the swirlies, but they're sort of busy too. So I'm already getting distracted. Just, oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Look at the little spotty bunny. Oh my gosh, you can have all sorts of patterns. That's hilarious. I really like those. So you can have moon patterns. Um, What if I do that? And then, interesting, interesting. Okay, and we're going to do that. And so I wonder what we can do. I know you can jamagram with buddies, jammers wall, journal, journey book. You can go have parties. There's games you can do. So I think what I'm gonna look into is what it's like if you are an official jammer. Like when you can come over and I think, oh, you can do different achievements for like being best dressed. Well, we'll, we'll try this out for now. There's pets? I can go to a pet shop? What? And you can free your pet? Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll look into that in the future too. But what happens if I come outside? Can I decorate outside too? Can I put more trees out here? Can I buy more things? <gasps> there's a honeycomb! Okay, so it looks like there's different things you can buy if you are a member. And that's actually something I've been thinking about is we'll probably become members for the month just to be able to try to look at that. You can get honeycomb wall art. <gasps> I could probably get so many things. And here is a secret, you guys. Here is a secret about me that I'm going to tell you guys. Because some of you are probably going, Siri, what the heck? Why are you playing Animal Jam? It doesn't make any sense. Why? You guys, I draw inspiration from everywhere. From all different sources that I might bumble into. And actually, looking through all of these different things I can buy for my den, they're giving me some pretty cool ideas. Like making a defensing uh, ship in a bottle for our zoo crafting series. Or maybe setting up a really cool 
honeycomb wall art for like a zoo exhibit in zoo crafting. I grab ideas for all of our series from everywhere and I'm really hoping at the very least even if we don't find too many facts because I have been told Animal Jam has kind of like wheeled away from being very factual. I'm kind of hoping, like that meteor, that's so cool, that we'll be able to stumble on some fun ideas to be able to put into our other series. So if you guys stumble on an interesting idea, like maybe making space craters and putting in some of the geo spawners in our Sims 4 series, if you see something that inspires you for any of our other stuff, then speak up and we will totally tackle those. These are so cool. Look at these pixelated bushes. <gasps> pixelated houseplants. Oh, this is so neat. All right. So hang on just a second, you guys. I think we're gonna go ahead and become a member just for the month, and we're gonna try all this out so we don't have we don't have things that are blocked off from what we can do. So give me just a moment here. All right, there we go. So for the awesome month of September, when we are celebrating our back to school special event on the Pixel Biology channel, we are an official Animal Jam member so that we can see all of the different things, tackle all of the different features, create awesome animals, collect weekly diamonds, purchase amazing dens, adopt cool pets, and buy member clothing and den items. So very, very fun. So we can do all of that. Wonderful. Welcome to the club. Ooh, and then there's a whole bunch of other things you can actually see in the JAMA journey. Journal. So giraffes are available for all jammers. So I guess we can go ahead and make new animals anytime we want. Head feathers. Oh, those are kind of cute. The head feathers introducing the brand new accessory that have twice as many feathers and twice as much fun as the originals. Head feathers will only be available for two weeks. So head to the diamond shop and pick up yours before they're gone. All right, what else is there? Honeybee day? That's why they have the honeybees. Oh my gosh, they have pet honeybees right now. That's adorable. August 20th is National Honeybee Day. Celebrate these incredible insects by picking up all the cool accessories and den items. And don't forget to check around for all the fun facts. I want to find honeybee facts. That's something I want to do. And they're pet honeybees now. I think a pet honeybee for our little, like, our little bunny would be perfect. I kind of want to make our bunny normal colors now that I think about it. Maybe we'll make her normal colors. So we'll look into pet honeybees. Uh, adventures help protect the phantom beacon and fend off phantom foes in this awesome animal or in this awesome adventure for all jammers battle for the beacon trade your pets you can now add pets to your trade list oh interesting so you can like trade pets for wait was that a little <gasps> that's a little guinea pig that's a little sneak oh my gosh they're so cute a mysterious wood carving. We just received some very interesting news from the Alphas. While exploring distant lands, they discovered a mysterious wood carving. See what I mean, you guys? Drawing inspiration that we could put into a whole bunch of other places from all series. And this is actually very inspiring because we're getting ready to add in some wood carvers and some, uh, some carpenters and some loggers, lumberjacks, there we go, into our zoo crafting series as well. The alphas feel that they are close to discovering a heartstone of a new animal, and they think the wood carving may be a clue about where those animals can be found in the wild. This kind of looks like Madagascar, actually. Does that mean they're going to be adding in lemurs? Do they already have lemurs? This looks a lot like Madagascar. <laughs> Doesn't this look like Madagascar from our um, Duke Lemur Research Center video? Interesting. What do you think, Jammers? Does the wood carving look like any place you recognize? What type of animals live there? A lot of really cool things live in Madagascar. Traveling Arctic foxes. Uh, we want to wish the Arctic foxes of Jamma good luck on their travels. Hopefully, they'll we will they will be back soon. Speaking of traveling, we just heard the rhinos will be re returning soon. So it looks like you can make a whole bunch of different animals. And wow, there's so much stuff. I'm kind of impressed. Have you experienced all of the fun of proving grounds and the hidden falls? There's new adventures. Adventure command post. You can visit the new 2D adventures by going to the adventure command post. There's a forest, what? And there's toys, oh my gosh. What, daily spin, what's this? Okay, uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and spin. Okay, I think I got something. Woo! I have no idea what we just got. I guess we got 75 of something something. All right. So I don't know where I am. Oh, this is a laboratory. I guess I'm inside of a laboratory now. <gasps> there's a game. There's a chemistry set. Oh my gosh. There's exploration. There's a giraffe. Oh, oh, wait. Can I look at these? Oh, guys, we can look at them. We can look at them. I'm so excited. Poison dart frogs. Okay. There are about 220 species of poison dart frogs, all of which are primarily native to the tropical forests of Central and South America. Poison dart frogs are known for being colorful as well as for being toxic. Poison dart frogs produce a toxin that covers their skin and protects them from predators. That's so true. Oh, they're so fun. And there's so many different varieties of poison dart frog. And especially if you want to look into tree frogs and their relationship with bromeliads and how they lay their eggs and take care of their eggs. 
Definitely check that out because it's so cool, you guys. Fire salamander. They are amphibians, which means they live both on the water and on land. Fire salamanders are the only amphibians that are not hatched from eggs. They are born live. That's actually really cool. I, man, there's a few reptile species as well that do live birth. Because they have such short legs, fire salamanders' bellies drag on the ground when they walk. So this is where, like, you keep a little collection. Oh, walking sticks are over here, too. And I have seen so many walking sticks. The St. Louis Zoo has a gigantic wall full of walking sticks, which was really fun. And then, oh, King Cobra. Wow, they get really big. Really, really big. And watching two King Cobra males um, kind of battle, they sort of press against each other and wrestle. So if you ever want to see something really cool, try to look for a video of two king cobra males fighting and they sort of have like this amazing wrestling and bluffing match but usually they won't strike at one another even though their venom is very toxic because they don't want to risk getting bitten because they know they could they know they could probably kill each other and they don't want to do that let's see the news is glowing so is it just like whoa hang on now oh interesting have all fish species been discovered so you can look up like Oh, if you want to learn more, head to the aquarium located in Crystal, Crystal Sands. So it looks like there's all sorts of new things that get updated in the journal. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll poke around that later. Uh, looks like there's some stuff over here. Oh, fun for experiments. I get it. And let's see what's over here. Oh, pictures that you can print out and paint. Oh, that's so fun. My niece would love that. All right. And then what else do we have? Can I look at this? <gasps> it's a crocodile suit. What does it do? Can I look at it? Animal Jam. So yeah, this is really, this reminds me a lot of uh, when I was growing up and messing around with games like this and you could kind of poke at everything and everything would have like a little video pop up. Can we look at this microscope? And all sorts of different things would show up. Can I look at this chemistry set? Apparently this is a game. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Do I just wait? Okay, hang on here. All right, gotta turn the little, turn the knob. I would like to turn the little knobby. Can I not turn the knob? Oh, oh, okay. And that's gonna make it blue. What about, is that gonna change the color? I think it's changing the color. Oh, wait, whoa, there we go. Okay. What did I just make? <laughs> what do I do with it? Do I give it to the King Cobra? <laughs> I have no idea what I've done. Python Safari. Oh, so this is like a book so you can learn about constrictors. That is so cool. Okay, and then this is apparently a game and I don't know what I did. I'm gonna run away now because I have no idea. Oh dear, it's still with me. All right. Oh look, there's a bee thing. National Honey Bee Day. To make one pound of honey, honeybees have to visit two million flowers. That's, oh, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. They're so cute. Can I really, can I really take one home? I want to take one home. Oh, they can have the loveliest little like wings that are nothing like honeybees. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And you can have like all sorts of little patterns on them. Oh, you guys. Is it not just the sweetest little thing? Oh, I love her. I want to take her home. Yellow bunny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Miss Frog. Let's see, Mushy Fox. And then Snow Peach. Oh, that's a really cute name. Maybe Peach something. Is there a different name? Sunny Peach, Soup Sunny Peach. Let's name her Sunny Peach. We're gonna adopt her. Uh, 400 gems, I'll take it. There we go. I just adopted a honeybee. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but you know what, that's okay. So I just adopted a honeybee somehow. And I would really love to go and learn more fact things. This is a lost temple. Um, wow, okay, lost temple of trivia. All right, let's dive in. Which of these is the largest snake? Or, or sharks, sharks is the largest, uh, the whale shark. Oh goodness, I almost read that totally wrong as snakes. Earthworms can usually be found in moist soil. Is this so I can like learn things? Snow geese fly in a V formation. Uh, baby geese are called goslings. Let's see. Camels have how many toes on each foot? Uh, two? Because there, I know some interesting facts about camel toes, interest, uh, like oddly enough. The Arctic Ocean is near, uh, is nearly surrounded by Arctic. Uh, wouldn't it be, wait, what? Arctic? Arctic Ocean? Arctic? That would be, uh, continent? Wait, 
Yeah. <laughs> I had to figure out where I was geography wise. Termites have wings they shed when they find a good place to build a nest. And then snowy owls eat lemmings. A beluga whale has a bulbous forehead called a, I think it's called a melon for some reason, like a, a melon on there. Oh, look at that koala. She's so cute. Yay. Where are we? I don't remember who I am. I really don't. Oh gosh, did I earn something? Okay, harp seals have been known. How do I know this about harp seals? 500 feet, oh, too deep, too deep. How many years have mangoes been cultivated? Um, I would guess for a very, very long time. These are some really interesting random trivia facts. The cowrie shell is usually shaped like an egg. There we go. And then which Northern American coast has the most volcanoes? Um, Northern American coast volcanoes, that's gonna be the Western. There we go. And the firefly is also called the light butt bug, if you're me. How many of you guys remember that episode, the light butt bug? Which of these is not a type of salamander? Um, spring peeper is actually a tiny, tiny little frog that you can see videos of me holding them. A peacock's tail feathers have markings that look like eyes to scare away predators. I love trivia, actually. Each hair of the caribou is hollow and can trap air, which helps the caribou to stay warm. That's very true. Can keep that warm air in. Ocean uh, winds and tides create waves. Like that seems, it was so obvious. I had to like wonder about that for a second. All right, so where are we? I don't remember where I am. I'm not fuzzy fancy wolf. So I have no idea what's happening here. Where am I? Where's my little bunny? Frilled lizards are sometimes referred to as uh, frilled lizards, frill necks. Oh goodness, it looks like, I'm not that koala. The red-eyed tree frog can be found in, um, let's see, Central America. There we go. We were just talking about tree frogs. The word rhinoceros coming from Greek words means, uh, I think ar armored one? Ah, nose horn, of course, so obvious. Oh my gosh, there's so much bling on some of these people. The dolphin is a type of uh, mammal, mammal, not fish, of course not. All right, a hibiscus flower can grow old. Oh, what? As a hibiscus flower grows older, it can change its color? I didn't know that, you guys. That's so cool. The gar species of fish is found in North America. I've actually seen several gar up close and in person. Using reusable shopping bags when you go shopping. It saves trees. It saves so much trees. Do it, you guys. I do that at home, too. Which of these is not a mammal? Uh, this I have no idea what a skuka is. That was just elimination. Okay, am I done? Did I do something good? I have no idea. Magical jelly bean? Where am I? Am I not even in the list? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and leave the game. I don't know what happened there. I don't know how much, I guess I have a little bit of money now, um, but I'm really sure that I, this wasn't me. So we can go to the shop, you can do trade. So basically you guys, I have absolutely, oh yeah, you can make new animals. And yeah, look at this. <gasps> Wow, you would have a horse, what? Oh my gosh, and you can have a snow leopard. Oh, you're kidding me, you're kidding me. I do love snow leopards, and you can have lions. Okay, oh my gosh, how do you get, oh, I think you have to find horses by exploring and just stumbling on them. <gasps> I could be a little lynx. Oh my gosh, you guys, what about, I wanna be a little deer, I would love to be a deer. So we're gonna have to poke around and figure out what the heck is going on. I've learned a few random facts, but I'm still extremely confused by basically all of life, to be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going, but you guys have requested that we dive into this for so long that I promised you we would give it at least a month's worth of diving in and just trying the game out. We'll see what happens if we wander around and please take note because like I said, even if some things don't pan out here, the main goal of what we are doing is trying to gather as absolutely many ideas and inspiration for all of the things that we do from whatever things we happen to stumble upon. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.